Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2019 Holly LS Fest East, and I came across a 73 Z28 Camaro I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. What about that right there? Second generation Camaro Z28. Bright yellow. I would say Bumblebee, but this was around before Bumblebee. I think it's cool though. It's got to be the right color yellow though, right? I mean, you just can't be slapping any kind of old house paint yellow on there. It's got to be the right shade, an aggressive shade of yellow. And I think they nailed it on this one. And then they blacked out the bumpers and some areas, and boy, it's a nice up underneath. Some other areas that really just kind of, you know, break up that yellow, black wheels, I like that. You know, they're always a personal choice, but those work. I like that lace pattern wheel. I'm a fan. It's not exactly a lace pattern. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Spoke kind of pattern. It works. Got some uh, updated, more modern headlights in it. Split bumper. Boy, how cool is that, right? GM just absolutely nailed it when they did that. These are one of those cars you just don't have to do anything to. Get the stance right, get a cool wheel choice, some performance, and you are on your way. Obviously, this one's had a little more work done to it than that. Some upgrades to the interior. Looks like some modern seats, but um, maybe the stock door panels. Rear seat looks like it's been redone. Nothing over the top, but nice and clean. And this car is obviously set up to drive. You can tell that by looking at it. So, you know, in a fancy, fancy interior, you can't use it. Some seats and a gear shift, steering wheel, gas pedal. Three pedals, actually, five speed. How you like that? I know you do. Sub in the trunk. Never complain about that. It's a good, good use of uh, weight to put it right over the uh, rear tires. The rear uh, wheels are 20 by nine and a half. You know, like I said, the interior works for me. Doesn't have to be anything more than uh, what you got going on there. A couple of late model seats, and like I said, I think that most of the rest of its gauges have been changed out and all, but the dash and, and all that. And you got uh, 18 by 8s on the front, and the dash and all that looks stock. I never saw it with the hood closed, but it looks like there's a ZL1 grill from the ZL1 Camaro in the center of that unit. I like the amount of ground clearance it's got. Not much. Again, just like I like. You know, I like it. I like that. Uh, you know, I like that Z28 emblem. It pops off that grill. Something. You know, that's all been blacked out. Very cool. Six liter up under the hood. Plenty of performance. Some of it thanks to Holly, I would guess. I like those valve covers. Coil covers. I'm an old dude, I still call them valve covers, but I like those. No, very nice job, good looking car. I thought y'all would like to check it out. So there you go, from the 2019 Holly LS Fest East, the 1973 Chevrolet Camaro Z28. Hope you all enjoyed it, see ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.